Hello students of class 5. Welcome once again to the English 2 class. In this video, we are going to revise the poem Mr. Nobody. By now, from the lesson notes which you have received, you all know who Mr. Nobody is and the various mischievous activities which he does in the house. So let's recapitulate the poem for your better understanding. Mr. Nobody Children, let us first find out who is Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody is a mysterious little man who is held responsible for all the mischief done in the house. He is given this name to give a shroud of mystery to his persona. He is not noticed as he moves around very quietly and makes a mess of things in the house. He is always made the scapegoat as no one in the house is ready to admit the fault and take the blame for a misdeed. No one has ever seen his face as he is an imaginary character created to escape the consequence of any wrongdoing. The poem starts with the poet describing Mr. Nobody as a funny little man who is held responsible for all the mischief done in the house. He comes in as stealthily as a mouse and does the mischief before anyone realizes it. Though no one has seen him, everyone agrees that he is the one to be blamed for cracking the plates in the house. The second stanza of the poem discusses about the various mischiefs done by Mr. Nobody. He tears the pages of the books, leaves the door open, pulls out the buttons from the shirts and scatters pins on the floor. He forgets to oil the hinges of the door and so the door squeaks whenever it is opened. The third stanza starts with Mr. Nobody again being blamed for various other mischievous activities done in the house. He puts damp wood upon the fire so that the kettle does not boil. His shoes bring in mud into the house and thus the carpet gets soiled. He mislays the papers after reading them and tosses them around. The last stanza of the poem tells us about some more naughty actions of Mr. Nobody. He leaves his finger marks on the door, thus making them dirty. He never draws the blinds and so the curtains fade. He spills ink everywhere and leaves his boots lying on the floor. This poem teaches us to take responsibilities for our own actions. Very few people have the courage to own up after they create a problem. They tend to put the blame on others and that is when characters like Mr. Nobody is created. The poem also conveys certain moral values like we should have respect for others' property, value and appreciate things at home, practice discipline and be tidy all the time. Children, hope you have understood the lesson. See you soon. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Thank you.